guys, today's lesson is on how to tune your guitar. I'm going to use this little headstock tuner to show you. It's pretty simple. Let's check it out. Alright, so first thing, let's look at the strings. String number six is going to be the E string, or what we call low E, the bass E. And then you got string number five. This is going to be the A string. String number four, D. String number three, G. And then string number two, B. And then string number one, the skinny string here, E. It's another E. It's a skinny E or high E. So we got E, A, D, G, B, and E. So basically what I'm doing, I'm strumming the low E string. Now, I see that there, that kind of red line is not quite in the middle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this tuning key or the tuner away from the guitar, but with a very small increment. And I'm going to try it again. And I see that it goes green, it's in the middle, so that's in tune. Now, if I go a little too much, see now it's sharp. Now I take it back down. To release the string, it's, it's towards the guitar, uh, here on the kind of the upper row of tuners. It's still a little sharp. I'll bring it down a little bit. Release the string, ten the string's tension, and now it's tuned. Now what you don't want to do is strum the string many times like this, because it's actually very very difficult to tune like that. So you want to kind of hit it once. You can use a guitar pick or your finger. And then if it's flat, like it's here right now, it's a little flat, I'm stretching it away from the guitar until it goes, gets in the middle and it's green, green you're in. Let's check out the next one. The next one should be in the, my A string, right? So I'm strumming my A string. Now I see it's a little flat. So again, I'm stretching. It's in tune. Going over to the D string. That's a little sharp. I went too far. When going back, releasing the tension a little bit, and you see. So I'm kind of strumming it, and then while it's ringing, I'm I'm kind of making the adjustment a little bit. Okay, now it's in tune. Now I'm going to go to the bottom row of the of the tuning keys. Now the bottom row, the direction is actually opposite. So if I go, if I hit the G string here and I go away from the guitar, I'm actually going down in in pitch. So I'm going towards the guitar. It's a little too much. Going back down, and it's, if it's in the middle, it's in tune. So you need to to make sure that you see two things. One, it has to be the right note, E, A, D, G, B, E. And two, it has to be in the middle. Okay, so let's try the B string. It's a little sharp, so I'm going to release it a little bit. You see, I'm using very small increments if it's that close. Now I'm going to go over to the... Let's check it again. That's, that looks good. I'm going to go over to the E string. That's the, the skinny e, e string that the um, the most trebly string so it's a little sharp I'm gonna bring it down away from the guitar I mean I'm turning away from the guitar and see that's I'm gonna go try again that's in tune now let's go over it again quickly let's see what's going on bottom E sixth string that looks maybe a little flat yeah Stretch it just a little bit. A string that's in tune. D string. G string. Maybe a little a little sharp, but you you can kind of give it a, a second to to stabilize and see how that works. That's usually okay. And then B string. 
just ignore the fact that the tuner is uh, dancing a little bit in between but once you hit the note it just kind of hears the note so it, it's basically sensing the vibration and then that's the skinny or trebly high E string okay so that's in tune now what do you do if you hit the E string for example the low E string and you get a D sharp what does that mean what what that means is that the string is so uh, low or so far from being where it needs to be for standard tuning uh, you're actually a half step down too low so if you see something like that hit it again and go up and stretch it a little bit you see now I have to go I have to stretch a little more it's a bigger increment with the tuning keys to get to where I need to be you see so now I'm starting to get that E again and in the middle and E yeah the tuner is a little funny but yeah that's E so again if the guitar is completely out of tune for example I'm releasing it really low this is like this like a C so I have to kind of go up until I go back to my E and set it in the middle now the same goes for a string that maybe was overstretched so for example maybe I restrung my guitar and I hit the D string this is actually the D string that I'm strumming and I see an E so that means it's a little too high so I'm going down releasing the string right now it's in D sharp so it's still high and now I'm back on D still a little sharp so now you see as I get closer to the actual note you now the increments of the turn are smaller so now I'm back to D that's where I want to be here a good thing to do when you uh, finish tuning your guitar is to strum a basic chord like a G or an E so for example this is a G chord and this is an E chord so it's good to do that especially if you're a beginner um, because you want to get used to the sound of your basic chords in tune so for example let's say that my B string here I didn't get it right maybe it's a little flat or something and I'm hitting the G chord and that doesn't sound right so if you if you get used to tuning your guitar and then playing the chords uh, just one or two basic major chords are good for that um, you're kind of getting used to the sound of, of a chord that is in tune so in time you develop uh, your ear and, and be able to kind of hear if something is off even without the tuner you just kind of get used to the sound one common mistake that I see a lot when people tune is they strum a string and then kind of look at the tuner and then strum the next string strum the next string and strum the next string but that's a mistake because you are keeping those other strings ringing so what you want to do is tune one string check it out and then you want to mute it and then go over to the next string mute it you can use the palm of your hand and go over to the next string okay guys so that was our lesson about tuning and I'll see you next time